epilepsy warning for flashing lights and colors. Please note, this list will contain spoilers for each ride. You can find a ride list in the description. In our last video, we talked about famous jump scare moments on roller coasters, but these moments also exist on plenty of dark rides. These scares throw a surprise twist at you, heightening your flight or fight response and giving you a good startle. To tell you the truth, there are so many of these moments on dark rides that there was no way I could include them all on this list. If I left out a dark ride jump scare you were thinking of, feel free to comment it down below. But with that being said, here are the top 10 dark ride jump scares as voted on by the viewers. Number 10, the pop-up ghosts on the Haunted Mansion at various Disney parks. The Haunted Mansion is without a doubt the most famous haunted house ride on Earth. Its blend of dark comedy and genuine scares is brought to life by detailed set design and an array of animatronics. Some of the more famous characters include Madame Leota and the Hatbox Ghost. But for this segment of the list, we'll be talking about a more startling set of characters. Specifically, these guys, known as pop-up ghosts, spring up suddenly from behind the scenery. These ghosts have changed in appearance over the years, sporting a variety of different faces and expressions. They're most famous for their appearance in the cemetery scene, but they have also existed in the attic scene. During the holiday season at California's Disneyland, the mechanisms in the attic are reused for jack-in-the-box jump scares, as part of their annual Nightmare Before Christmas re-theme. In the past, these ghosts would scream when popping out, though that was reportedly turned off a few decades ago for unknown reasons. Either way, there's a good chance you were once startled by these guys as a kid, but this is only the beginning of the list. Number 9. The Giant Rubber Duck on the Flume at England's Alton Towers Back in 1981, Alton Towers opened a log flume ride named Whitewater Flume. At the time, it was the longest log flume in the world, measuring at almost 3,000 feet long. Later renamed to just The Flume, the attraction would be sponsored by the Imperial Leather Toiletries Company in 2004. The logs were redesigned to resemble bathtubs, and the flume had a brief dark ride section added to it. First you pass by a bathtub sitting in the darkness with a rubber duck inside. All of a sudden to your right, a giant rubber duck appears with a loud quacking sound. The implication being that he's hopping into your bathtub. Not going to lie, this is one of the most adorable jump scares I've ever seen. Even still though, this duck scared the hell out of people. The fact that it was suddenly lit up in the darkness with a loud noise triggered a natural knee-jerk response. Eventually, the ride was removed from the park in 2015, being replaced with the wooden roller coaster Wicker Man. The whereabouts of this duck are currently unknown, and we here at Theme Park Crazy have been unable to contact him. Number 8. The Were Rabbit on Wallace and Gromit's Thrillomatic at England's Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Wallace and Gromit are perhaps the most iconic animated British duo of all time. In 2013, these two even got their own ride at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. On Wallace and Gromit's Thrillomatic, guests board vehicles that resemble Wallace's slippers and are taken through several scenes from the shorts and the movie Wallace and Gromit The Curse of the Were Rabbit. Towards the end, you'll enter a dark room, and all of a sudden, a large animatronic of the Were Rabbit appears right next to you with a loud roar. This guy gets pretty close to the ride vehicle too, and there's no doubt he startled children and adults alike over the years. Almost 10 years later, this ride remains in operation, and it's highly recommended if you're a fan of Wallace and Gromit. Number 7, Thing 1 and Thing 2 on the Cat in the Hat ride at Florida's Islands of Adventure. If you've ever been to Islands of Adventure, you'll know it's home to some of the most modern, state-of-the-art attractions out there. The Cat in the Hat ride isn't one of them. As much as I love this park, this ride is admittedly pretty dated. Its set design isn't much to write home about, and to be honest, it's kind of unsettling. The cat animatronics look like something out of an 80s pizza place, and as for Thing 1 and Thing 2, they're the next subject on this list. At one point, Cat opens up a red box, and all of a sudden, Thing 1 and Thing 2 come sprinting out of it. Their movements are sudden and erratic, which has often taken many passengers by surprise. One hilarious TikTok even has someone screaming in terror at the sight of these guys. I'll put a link to that in the description. Number 6. The Clock Dragon at the Haunted Mansion at Pennsylvania's Knobles Amusement Park In addition to their excellent food and superb attractions, this park has a popular haunted house dark ride. Over the years, the park has done an excellent job maintaining this ride. Its props and set pieces are intricately designed as well. 
Though there are several jump scares on this ride, one in particular is especially famous among Dark Ride fans. Towards the beginning of the ride, you'll maneuver your way through a haunted house. After spotting a few creepy characters, you'll approach a clock. All of a sudden, a dragon's head pops right out at you. Even those who have ridden this multiple times are often caught off guard by how fast the dragon pops out of the clock. Plenty of time and effort went into this attraction, and it's well deserving of its glowing reputation. Number 5. The Truck on Test Track at Florida's Epcot Back in 1998, Epcot Center opened their first ever thrill ride, a high-speed state-of-the-art attraction named Test Track. Despite its high speed and banked turns, this ride is not actually a roller coaster. Instead of running on gravity, the track underneath powers the vehicle all the way through. It's quite literally a giant slot car, and the ride design is known as such. On this ride, you take part in a series of tests meant to measure your vehicle's performance and durability. These tests include handling, temperature, and terrain. Just as a side note, the original pre-show is pretty disturbing when you think about it. After selecting the test that guests will be subjected to, the host tells the technician to pick an extra surprise test. Apparently, she was hell-bent on murdering guests and casually selected a crash test. Pretty off-putting to say the least. When Test Track first opened, it had a much more realistic feel to it, with the layout simulating a roadway. About halfway through the ride, you'll undergo a handling test. Right after turning a corner, a large truck appears right in front of you and honks its horn. Just before colliding head-on with the truck, your car will swerve out of the way at the last moment. In its early years, this ride featured a spark effect on the side, making the swerve much more realistic. Unfortunately, this effect was removed, and this part of the ride isn't as startling as it used to be. In 2012, the ride was rethemed to resemble a more computer-based setting. The truck was given decorative flashing lights, making it look much less realistic than it used to. Don't get me wrong, Test Track is still a great attraction, and it's a blast to zoom down the road at 65 miles per hour. But to me, this jump scare isn't what it used to be. Number 4, The Hungarian Horntail and Aragog Double Whammy on Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey at Various Universal Parks. Talk about a mouthful. Back in 2010, the wizarding world of Harry Potter breathed new life into Islands of Adventure. Its main attraction on opening day was the revolutionary Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. This dark ride uses robotic arm technology to take guests on a magical trip through the grounds of Hogwarts. Along the way, you'll come across the Whomping Willow, the Dementors, and the next moment on this list. At one point, you'll come across Hagrid, who asks if you've seen a dragon around. The erratic movements of the robotic arm make it extremely difficult to see what's coming next. All of a sudden, you'll find yourself right in front of the Hungarian Horntail, who breathes quote-unquote fire at you. And as if this wasn't frightening enough, this scene is immediately followed by another one involving Aragog and his children. These nasty acromantulas hang from the ceiling, and you'll even come face to face with the big guy himself. Unless you're literally Hagrid, you're sure to find this scene disturbing. It's definitely an arachnophobe's worst nightmare, so don't forget to shout Arania Exime. As a whole, this ride is a huge success, and it remains a highly popular attraction. Number 3, The Anglerfish on Finding Nemo Submarine Voyage at Disneyland. Based on the iconic Pixar film, this attraction is an underwater dark ride. Most of the ride consists of underwater projection screens retelling the movie it's based on. Although there are sadly no underwater animatronics on this ride, there is still a frightening moment for those with some mechanophobia. At one point, your submarine will enter the deep dark sea, with a few small lights scattered around. Then, the lights suddenly flash on, showing a vicious looking group of anglerfish right outside the portholes. Imagine being a little kid and seeing these pop out of nowhere. With their sharp teeth, expressionless eyes, and underwater placement, these figures are arguably more terrifying than some underwater animatronics out there. Since they're not technically animatronics, they haven't qualified for my past submechanophobia videos. Still, it's nice to finally talk about these fish. Number 2, The Evil Queen on Snow White's Enchanted Wish at various Disney parks. In previous videos, we've discussed the jump scares on Magic Kingdom's original Snow White's Adventures ride. While this ride is no longer in operation, there are still dark rides themed to Snow White. These exist in California, Paris, and Tokyo. Fortunately for adrenaline junkies, these rides have a famous jump scare that's arguably as effective as the old ride. After maneuvering more peaceful scenes, you'll enter the Evil Queen's Dungeon. At first, it appears as if she is looking at her reflection in the mirror, but the moment she turns around, 
you'll see that she's actually transformed into the old hag from the movie. This effect is done with a separate figure on the opposite side of the mirror that rotates simultaneously with the hag. It's a genius effect that just goes to show how elaborate Disney Imagineering is. And it's one not to tell your friends about if you want to see their reaction. Number 1. The Carnotaurus Finale on Dinosaur at Disney's Animal Kingdom You wouldn't think a Disney attraction would be one of the most intense and terrifying dark rides out there, but Dinosaur fits that bill perfectly. Originally opening as Countdown to Extinction, this ride takes guests on a heart-pounding quest to bring an iguanodon to the present day. Unfortunately, you've landed just at the end of the Cretaceous period, when the asteroid is just about to hit the Yucatan Peninsula. The layout is jam-packed with advanced dinosaur animatronics, with the most impressive of the bunch being the Carnotaurus. This dinosaur mix with the devil has been horrifying park guests for years, but it's his final appearance on the ride that makes this list. Towards the end of the experience, the asteroid is just seconds away from striking the Earth, with no Bruce Willis in sight. All of a sudden, the Carnotaurus comes charging right towards guests, racing towards the vehicle head-on. A strobe light adds to the scene's intensity, as does the alarm sound. The positioning of the Carnotaurus right above the drop also gives the illusion you're about to crash into it. Overall, this is a memorable, terrifying, and startling jump scare you can only experience at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now it's time for the comment shoutout program. This is where I take three random comments from my past video and read them out. These comments come from my roller coaster jump scare video. HV Pond says, Sadly, the Dark Knight coaster jump scare at Six Flags Great Adventure for some reason has stopped doing it. Erica Williams says, It may not be a real jump scare, but my sister was definitely not expecting the tunnel launch on Maverick. And B Rad Game says, I subscribed. Thanks, B Rad. If you want to see your words in my next video, leave a comment down below and it may be selected. Please note though that inflammatory or spam comments will not be read. Before we wrap things up, I just want to give a special shout out to my new Patreon supporters. Verbal shout outs start at the gold tier, so if you don't hear your name, it will be listed at the end of the video. Here's a special shout out to Emily. Thank you all so much, and if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so once again at the link in the description. Thanks for watching everyone, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or you can check out my website at ThemeParkCrazy.com. This is Theme Park Crazy, and I'll see you all next time.